Hello. Uh, so if you are filling the JE main form, uh, you first need to go to the JE main website that is jmain.nic.in. So uh, I would suggest you you can use uh, either Internet Explorer or uh, Google Chrome. Now first thing is before filling the form, uh, ensure that you are reading the information brochure very carefully because uh, there are chances you will do mistakes otherwise. What else you can do is uh, you can log on to uh, engineering.careers360.com and uh, over there we have tried to compile uh, all the steps that you need to take care while filling your JE main 2014 application. So uh, we have now opened the step by step procedure on uh, how you should fill the application and we have covered all the steps that you need to take care while you are filling your application. So uh, go through this article and uh, it will help you to understand uh, what uh, is the size of photo you need to upload, uh, what all parameters are there, do you need to include your name and date of click of photo in that uh, and all other options that are there in the JE main form. Okay, so uh, after that uh, ensure that uh, you are reading the brochure which is quite long. Now when you are done uh, with that, uh, there is an option of apply. Uh, click on that option, uh, over there you will find a three step process. Uh, what you need to do is you need to click on apply there are uh, concise instructions given over there find time to first read all those instructions so that you have just uh, revised uh, you don't do any mistake now you need to proceed to the apply online button it will take you to the main JE main 2014 online application now the first option is if you want to apply for paper 1 or paper 2 paper 1 is for BTEC and BE and paper 2 is for architecture now when you choose uh, paper 1 as pen and paper base, you need to choose 4 options. 4 options as in 4 centers for the examination. And when you choose online, uh, it just gives you 1 center. Now let's say I take paper 1 uh, as pen and paper and by default paper 2 as pen and paper base. Now I need to choose 4 exam centers. So uh, let me choose 4 exam centers first and uh, then we'll proceed to rest of the application. Now. Uh, if I am from Mumbai, I have chosen Mumbai, Navi Mumbai, Thane and uh, followed by Nagpur as my uh, choice of centers. Now you need to choose uh, medium of the paper uh, that is from English, Hindi, Urdu or Marathi since I have opted for Maharashtra. Now uh, one thing you need to take care in writing your name, mother's name and father's name is that it should be similar to what you have written in your 12th board. If you are an appearing candidate, cross check with the school what name you have written. It is very clearly specified over there that that name should be as per 12th. Now very important thing, state of eligibility is the state where are you, you are doing your 11th and 12th. What it means is if you are a student from Bihar but studying in Kota, your state of eligibility would be Rajasthan if you have done 11th and 12th from there. Followed by that you need to choose your state of eligibility category as general SC, ST and OBC. Now if you are a physically disabled candidate you need to choose percentage of disability and other parameters. If no just click no. Uh, select your date of birth and your gender. Now uh, when you move after that you need to choose your nationality and place of residence if it's urban or rural. The Aadhaar card number is currently an optional field so if you have Aadhaar card do fill the option. Now uh, year of passing 10th just choose the year you passed your 10th or the equivalent exam. Now choosing the state board for example I am a student of central board of secondary education that is CBSE. I choose CBSE and default code is 1. Then choose uh, next option uh, if you studied in city or college and choose the year of 12th. For example I am uh, going to give my 12th exam in 2014 then I don't need to fill my uh, roll number and percentage. Followed by that if you are appearing you are not going to give improvement so just uh, click on no for that. Choose the mode of preparation. This option is not going to directly affect your ranking as per uh, last year. So you can choose uh, whatever method you are using. Now you need to fill name and address of the school. Now ensure that you are filling the exact name, name and exact address of the school you are studying in. Okay. Now moving to the next step, uh, you need to fill personal details of yours. Uh, fill complete postal address of yours uh, in the field given over there followed by the locality, city town you are staying in and uh, the state you are in. So these are uh, very basic details that you need to fill. Uh, let me just fill the details and uh, then we'll move ahead to the last part of the application. So uh, I'm filling name of the city as name of city just to ensure uh, you fill uh, name of your city and I have chosen my state as Maharashtra. Just write down your PIN code after that 
and uh, do ensure you write a correct email address even if you're filling from a cyber cafe uh, don't give email address of the cyber cafe person uh, write down correct mobile number because a message will come on your phone uh, when you fill the form uh, with your application number so that is very important now the uh, parents income section is actually optional so uh, but I would advise you, you should fill the information over there uh, if your mother is housewife, uh, then you need to choose the last option of others over there and choose the income range of less than 1 lakh. Now, uh, in password, there is a trick. You need to choose a symbol, an uppercase, a lowercase and a numeric value. So, uh, you need to choose all the uh, parameters, then only that combination will generate a password for you. Otherwise, it will give an error. Now, uh, I have chosen my password and uh, just uh, select one of the security questions and type in your answer over there. Now you are almost done with the uh, first step of the application. Choose this uh, pin exactly as the image is shown. If you are not able to read it, just click on this green refresh. Once you are done, you need to click on next button. But before you go, just recheck your application. Because if you have done mistake, at least you can try to correct it right now. So uh, let me just see if my application is correct. and. Uh, if it's correct then I'm good to go for the next step remember the application will give you warning uh, again and again that uh, if you have uh, done any mistake or would you like to recheck your application so if uh, there is any doubt in your mind do go through the application once again now click on the next button it will give a pop-up which asks you to confirm your credentials so uh, it gives you one more chance to check if you have done a mistake so uh, check the credentials you have filled and if you are sure this is the correct information there is a button uh, called I agree. Now I feel I have filled all the correct information so I am ticking the option and I am clicking on final submit. Then see again it's asking a pop up that if you are sure. Since I am sure I am uh, pressing yes please do. So now my first step of the process is complete. Once it's done uh, you can see that an application number is generated for my application and uh, the step 1 is now green. So it means that my step 1 is complete and step 2 and step 3 are pending. Step 2 is uh, I need to upload the scanned images, my uh, photograph, signature and thumb impression. Read these details and I am sure you must have already uh, prepared the all the three photographs. So before you proceed just ensure you have three photographs. Now I am uploading my photo, thumb impression and signature. So uh, here is my photo, this is my signature and uh, this is my thumb impression. Now uh, they should be in JPEG format and uh, what I need to do is I need to click preview. It will show uh, if the photographs are uh, uploaded correctly. So uh, let's see if they are good to go. Yes, so you can see my photo is good, my signs are good, my thumb impression is also looking decent. So uh, I think uh, the uploading part is also done. Now what I need to do is I need to check this option and click on final upload. So once you are sure that this is uh, correct, you can click on uh, the option and click on final upload. This will upload your photograph uh, in step 2. Once you are done, this means you have completed the second step of the application process. Now you can see uh, this is done and the now again see uh, step 1 and step 2 now both are green it means step 1 and step 2 both are complete now the only step left is the payment option okay so uh, I can see my photo is good uh, my signatures are good my thumb impression is good and now I need to proceed to pay 1800 rupees because I opted for paper 1 and paper 2 and both in offline mode so the only option red now is the third option and other two step 1 and step 2 are green so now I'm going to move ahead for the payment of the examination fees of JE Main 2014 now here I have two options uh, I can review the application first and go for payment why it is very important is if you have any doubt uh, go again and review your application because once you pay the fees you will not be able to edit your application so uh, as you can see I can click over there and go to edit application form and uh, I can edit the information which I filled over there okay and in step 2 as well I can go and I can edit my photograph I can edit my signature I can edit my thumb impression again so cross check before you move to the payment option now since I'm sure all the information is correct I'm moving to the payment option where I have uh, to choose go for payment if I'm sure so uh, I'm going to click on go for payment now and uh, I'll be given two options now 
so uh, first option is I can make the payment using debit card or credit card means online payments second is e-chalan so this is a physical uh, payment method in which I need to go to a bank so let's say uh, I'm choosing uh, e-chalan right now and uh, let's see what it gives so uh, the e-chalan option is uh, giving me three options right now uh, the three options are the three banks syndicate bank Canada bank and ICICI bank so uh, what you need to do is you need to choose one of the banks that is uh, closer to your locality and generate an e-chalan slip now uh, let's say uh, Canada bank is near to my home and uh, I'm clicking on download Canada bank e-chalan so uh, you need to click on this button to download the e-chalan uh, as soon as I click there is a file downloaded to my system uh, I'm just going to show you how it looks so this is the e-chalan generated for Canada Bank now uh, remember you can only pay it in Canada Bank so uh, one more thing uh, you don't need any account number uh, in your slip uh, Canada Bank was earlier refusing to accept the payments and Career360 uh, contacted the Canada Bank head office and they clarified that it is a mistake of branches if they are not accepting it so if you face any problem log on to engineering.careers360.com and take down the number of head office and you can give them a call if you face any difficulty now uh, there are two slips one is a J main slip which bank will keep second is uh, the candidates copy which uh, ensure uh, you take away from the uh, bank along with you and keep it safe in the file now uh, if I am having uh, any doubt uh, for example I need uh, to let's say uh, take another bank's e-chalan then I can go again to the e-chalan option and download it for for example syndicate bank let's say now the process is again same I'll click on download e-chalan I'll download the e-chalan and you can see now it's a uh, e-chalan specifically for syndicate bank it cannot be paid in Canada bank now okay uh, now uh, I can pay uh, by this option in the bank if I'm uh, not able to do that I can go to the debit and credit card option and I can pay online as well so you can use your ATM card as well uh, when I click on submit uh, I'll be sent to the gateway where I need to choose uh, that I confirm that uh, this is my application number and this is just to cross check so you are sure that this is the amount of examination fee you're paying and just click on go for payment once I click this option it will take me to the next page so over there you need to choose the type of card you're using and all these details now it's very clearly written over here that if your transaction fails because of some reason it will be refunded back in uh, 7 to 10 working days so you need to uh, retry a pay paying option if uh, your payment failed earlier so don't worry the amount will be paid back that's what JE main website says now yes please do means you have confirmed that these are your credentials and you are now ready for an online payment for JE main application fees now it has taken me to the bill desk uh, now over here I have option of credit cards and debit cards so uh, here I need to choose credit card now if I don't have a credit card I can also pay using a debit card so I'm clicking the debit card option right now so uh, once I click debit card it gives me option to choose my bank credit card so you can choose the bank you are uh, whose card you are using and uh, followed by that you can fill the information as per that bank and uh, you are ready to go for the payment so uh, this way you can complete the online payment option and after that you will be able to generate uh, your acknowledgement letter which will have all the information if you face any difficulty in the form uh, you can log on to careers 360 and write us your query thank you